Hi guys, so this week I'm not going to give you a tutorial, but instead I'm going to show you maybe the coolest thing, no not maybe, the coolest thing I have ever seen in Excel. It's a battleship game. You can play battleship in Excel. So I'm going to show you how it works and then I'll show you where you can get it because I definitely did not create this. So you open up the file, go ahead and click worksheet, and we have to enable macros of course and wait a moment there we go I'm a human and let's set the difficulty for this guy you have three choices to what I believe is supposed to be merciless and then it tells you exactly how to play fleet deployment we're gonna first deploy the aircraft carrier click to preview right click to rotate double click to confirm placement so I hit OK I click over here Do I want to put the guy there or here or where do I want to put him Let's put them here, no, here, and then I'm going to right click to turn it down. Now I want it there, so double click. Okay, next up, deploy the battleship, and we'll put you on the edge, why not? Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> This is so fun. Enemy fleet detected. All systems ready. I wish it had some sound. So I'll show you, uh, once I show you how to play it, that the guy who built this, he definitely welcomes contributions. So if anyone out there could add some sound to this, that would be awesome. All right, so enemy fleet detected. All systems ready. Double click the enemy grid to fire a missile. Find and destroy all ships. Okay, so here's the enemy fleet grid. Let's click somewhere. Okay, double click. Okay, awesome. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay, so we just hit one of mine too. Little bastard. Miss. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe I should have chosen an easier setting. <laughs> oh my gosh, he sunk my submarine. I'm sorry, I'm just having so much fun. You're staring at millions of cells all day and annoying numbers and text, and it almost makes you go blind. And here someone has built the Battleship game in Microsoft Excel. It's, that's just so cool. All right, so I sunk his... Uh, how do I go down? Okay, it works better on a bigger screen. I can't show you here. But there we go, I sunk his Battleship. All right, cool. All right. Okay, so I guess we're tied now. Two to two. <laughs> It's really cool, though. I love this. I guess you could play with two people. I'm not exactly sure how that works since, since you can see the ship placement, but uh, it's kind of fun to play against the computer. And the, the really cool thing about this is everything is open sourced. So if we go ahead and drop this guy down, I can go to the View tab, or no, Review tab. Okay, going a little slow now. And unprotect sheet. Okay, now let us zoom out. I can add back the grid lines. And so you can see it's created just right over the regular Excel spreadsheet. I mean, that's it. <laughs> And all these little guys are images. So if I click them, You'll be able to see shortly here. Where we go? Click. Okay, I have to unprotect the sheet again. It's probably in the macros. It just unprotects, does something, and reprotects often. But all of these guys are just images. And uh, wow, this dude really went to town to make this awesome looking interface. I love this. And then here is the sort of intro sheet. And you can see here the VBA project demonstrates what VBA can really do and how you can make really good code out of it. So if you hit uh, Alt F11, it'll take us to the VBA window and we can see all the stuff he's got here. So two worksheets and it's really, really well done, professionally done stuff, or at least that's what it looks like to me at the moment. I haven't really gone through the code. And there's all sorts of stuff. And there's class modules here. I mean, it's... This guy put a lot of effort into it. It is so cool. 
So this allows you to tweak it, to play around with it, to test your skills in VBA, to improve them, to do whatever you want. And that's what I love. It didn't just make it so that it's password protected and you can't do anything with it. No, he's like, this is awesome. Here, have it and play with it. So let me show you where it is now. Uh, the link to this is in the description. It's not on my website. And the link is going to take you to this page. If you are new to programming, well, this is GitHub. This is where you can basically have all of your code uploaded and you can edit it and track changes and figure out bugs on the issues tab. You can do all sorts of stuff here. So if you're a programmer, you know it. If not, it's kind of confusing, but just know that on the link that I give you, if you scroll down here in this readme section, it'll tell you all about the game. It'll tell you what it is, uh, a little bit about this rubber duck thing, which I'll talk about briefly in a moment, and then how to play with screenshots and everything. So this is everything you need to know about this awesome battleship game, almost everything. And even a little section on how to contribute and the fact that it's not gonna run on a Mac. Yeah, too bad Apple users. Okay, so how do you get it? Here's all the code, it's really confusing. Well, what you wanna do, take note, is go down to this section right here where it says release. Right now it says one release in the future it could be a different number, but you want to click release. And when it loads up, so this is the first release released on September 4th, 2018. You just click battleship.xlsm, download it. It's 725 kilobytes and then open it up. Now it's going to say warning. It came from the internet. Do you trust it? So yes, yeah, say that you trust it and then enable macros. And once you do those two things, it, uh, it's going to work perfectly, and that's all you need to do. So just go to the link that I give you. Okay, go to the link, click release, then go to the release page and download battleship.xlsm. You don't have to sign in. You don't have to do anything like that. And this dude, retail coder, there we go, Matthew, I think he's from Quebec. I can't, yeah, Quebec, I can't say that name. <laughs> anyway, he made this, and it's so cool. And I think he made it to show how cool this, so that's Battleship, download it, it's awesome, and just have fun, you know, take a little break from those millions of cells and play some Battleship. So this is part of, or it's sort of a branch of this rubber duck thing. So I'm going to show you the rubber duck thing. It says, give VBA developers proper tooling, see what happens. So here's his little rubber duck dude, and it's an IDE for basically macros. You can think of it like that. So you could click here and go there, but that could be kind of confusing as well. Instead, let's go ahead and click this little link to rubberduckvba.com and I'll show you what he's doing. So bring the VBE into this century. So basically this dude loves VBA, I'm guessing. And he wanted to make something that makes it easier to work with rather than the stupid 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 window over here just if you do any programming this is just the worst so here he made this thing you can do unit testing code inspections refactorings all sorts of cool helpful stuff now if this doesn't make any sense to you don't worry about it most of the time you don't need anything like this and to be fair I've never used this rubber duck thing but it seems cool just giving it a quick once over but I might start putting it into the tutorial shortly if it turns out to be as good as this website and this guy makes it seem like. So I can't really vouch for this, but I don't know. You might as well go ahead and try it out. It doesn't hurt. There's a download link right here. But yeah, that's it. That's the uh, Battleship game, and this is how you get it. Get it from GitHub. And okay, here we go. Yeah, that's about it. Download it, have fun with it, and <laughs> I just, I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over that somebody did this in Microsoft Excel. This is really, really cool, and the fact that he's very happy for you to contribute and add stuff to it, it's, it's just amazing. I love it. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it at least slightly entertaining, I guess. Let me know your thoughts on this game. And if you've ever heard of anything similar to this, where someone just built a really cool game in Microsoft Excel, go ahead and leave a comment so I can check it out, because this is a, a nice little break from regular work in Excel, I gotta say.